The world despises Hitler. What about India? The Nazi dictator was someone India's leaders engaged with. In popular culture in India, Hitler is synonymous with rigidity. People often refer to their boss or a strict teacher as Hitler. So what was India's relationship with this man? Here's a Gravitas special report. India has been largely ignorant about Auschwitz. Blame it on the country's physical disconnect from the Holocaust or the missing emotional string. For India, the stories of the Holocaust were like tales from a land far, far away. The early 1940s were India's final years under the British Raj. India was a country looking to break free. What appealed to the Indian masses back then was the image of Hitler. A supposed no-nonsense man. Someone who was apparently fighting to make Germany a strong country. To top this, both India and Hitler had a common enemy, Britain. It was an instant connect. Hitler acknowledged India's might, but in his own unique way. For him, India was one of the most resourceful lands on earth and Britain's rule of India was a textbook example of governance. That's how he wanted to govern Russia. Hitler often asked his men to draw lessons from India. This is an excerpt from 17th October 1941. The basic reason for English pride is India. 400 years ago, the English didn't have this pride. Earlier that year, Hitler had said that Britain knows very well that its empire depends on the existence of India. For Hitler, India was Britain's Achilles heel. In 1942, he met Indian freedom fighter and leader of the Indian National Army, Subhash Chandra Bose. This was on the 27th of May. Bose wanted Hitler's help in staging a revolution in India. His plan of action included distracting the colonial power with an uprising at home. This would weaken British forces in its war against Germany. According to Bose's calculation, Germany, because of its military superiority, would defeat Britain and the domino effect would liberate India too. Hitler, however, refused to help Bose. Historians point out that one of the reasons was because Bose had asked the Nazi leader to cut out a couple of passages from Mein Kampf. In his biography, Hitler had written how it would be better for India to remain under British domination. Bose's plan did not fall into place. The Germans, however, did help Bose in escaping to Japan. Here's what Hitler said later that year. In a book on India, which I read recently, it was said that India educated the British and gave them their feeling of superiority. The lesson begins in the street itself. Mahatma Gandhi once wrote to Hitler. This was back in 1939, post-Germany's occupation of Czechoslovakia. Gandhi wrote he was appealing for the sake of humanity for whatever it may be worth. History has it that Hitler was a fan of Indian hockey legend Major Dhyanchand. Germany's loss to India in the 1936 Olympics made Hitler reach out to Dhyanchand. He even offered him a position in the German army, which the latter refused. But during the years of the Holocaust, Hitler's relations with India were mostly defined by the country's point of contact with the Nazi leader Subhash Chandra Bose. Bureau Report, we on World is One.